In May 2018, Ben Robert Smith was contacted by a close friend, his former SAS patrol commander. That friend had just been interviewed by the Inspector General of the ADF, which was investigating the actions of Australian soldiers in Afghanistan. Today, the friend, codenamed Person 5, revealed his warning. I told him to prepare himself. It was a witch hunt. Person 5 was called by Mr Robert Smith's lawyers as the veteran sues three newspapers over allegations of unlawful killings, bullying and domestic violence, which he denies. After moving overseas, Person 5 emailed the veteran a document he wanted handed to lawyers, referring to his interview as an interrogation. I was without legal representation in Australia. I wanted to complain about the treatment. He now has his own lawyers and told the court his legal fees are being paid by the Seven Network, Mr Robert Smith's employer. Seven boss Kerry Stokes is financially backing the defamation case. The newspaper's barrister produced invoices showing about $65,000 worth of legal work done for the witness. You are here to give a false account of what happened to ensure you have the best chance of receiving this very valuable financial benefit into the future. That is not correct. It was put to Person 5 that he shares a common interest with Ben Robert Smith in relation to allegations of the war crime of murder from 2009 and 2010. He denied the suggestion that each of them is relying on the other to maintain innocence. You've come here to make sure that he doesn't turn against you, correct? No. The cross-examination continues tomorrow. Jamie McKinnell, ABC News, Sydney.